So this is going to be a little short update video of what I've been working on recently. This is an update video of what I've been working on recently. So this is the Halo Scara arm and the whole principle behind it is to be able to print in a full donut shape. So how this works is that there are kind of three main pieces. So there's a vertical shaft, an arm, and a base. So if we look at the middle, like mechanical part of the arm, there is a pinion gear. And then on the outside of the pinion gear is a ring gear with a hex shaft going through it. This hex shaft is on the post here. So this allows the, what I'm calling the core assembly here uh, to slide up and down. And then if you spin these uh, brass shafts, it'll spin these pinion gears, which will thus spin this arm here and make it go around. And then on the bottom, uh, there's a base. So this base, the hex shafts come through the top here um, and go through these bearings with M8 like shaft couplings uh, to keep them in place. And then on the bottom, there is a gear and pulley system. So the brass shafts go through these pulleys which get attached to the motors. So the motors are completely stationary and having the stationary motors allows the whole arm to move up and down and it allows you to spin in infinitely in a circle. Um, in order to get the wires to like the hot end or tool end, um, I have a slip ring on the top, uh, which allows it to spin continuously. And I only have one prototype done, but I'm planning on working on it more when I have more time during winter break when school is over. Coming up now are going to be a few kind of like short and dirty video clips of what I've done there pretty terrible quality and a little rambly, even more rambly than usual, um, but it's just kind of like a first prototype. So if you spin this bottom ring, the top one rotates, and I won't be able to do this one-handed, uh, but everything slides up and down and it still works. If I send like a continuous movement, um, it looks kind of cool. I think the reason it's so loud generally is because the motors have to spin so quickly in order to get it to do this. Um, but all of the movements uh, look pretty good. So it's a pretty tight lead and I bent the thing but it's still working. Um, and then you can see the hex shaft rotating uh, and it all seems to be moving fairly smoothly. So it rotates both of them. You can see the hex shafts moving. Um, right now I don't have the belt set up but because it's spliced and likes to break so just for testing I'm not using a belt. Um, but I do believe X, Y, and Z is working. Okay, so I just okay, so I just got done hooking up the uh, slip ring. Uh, it took a lot longer than I expected, uh, but it seems to be working. I haven't tested any of the connections, but I'm just assuming they're gonna work. So everything spins. It should. I also put the longer arm in, so that's a 255 millimeter arm now. Um, yeah, but everything spins, moves up freely, and then if you look at the top at the slip ring, um, the slip ring spins um, well, I guess. Uh, so overall, it's looking pretty good. So I got the spool holder thing on, um, so if it focuses, so the spool 
spins really smoothly. There's a little bit of friction, but it's a lot more elegant than having a like a pole go through there. You can just take it on and off. But let's see. Yeah, the filament fits in the top really well. Um, and then if I make it spin, it spins on the top as the bottom spins. The only kind of problem is right now, um, just because they're loose cables, uh, as the arm moves up, uh, the cables kind of wrap around uh, rather than, and then start pulling it rather than having them be in a line properly. Uh, but overall, the spool holder and kind of cable chain mount thing is working really well.